So, and by the time you roll around to the spring, you know, a lot of times it's like, okay, the school market's pretty much dried up, over and done. Uh, we'll be looking forward to everyone going back to school uh, late August and whatnot. But that's not necessarily true because there's a lot of action going on in the spring, late spring, early summer, as the school uh, year does wind down. Those opportunities are out there such that it can generate revenue for you. So you should be aware of that. You know, if you have kids in school, then you might already be aware of this. If your kids are uh, not old enough to go to school yet or long past that age, you may not be as aware of some of the different things that take place. And I still do have one in high school, and I also spent several years as a band booster president, so I know exactly what we have to do in the spring and where money gets spent. So I'm going to try and share some of that with you here today. Now, when we look at cashing in on the end scene of a typical school year, I've got six areas here I'm going to talk about. We're going to talk about student awards, staff awards, volunteer gifts, memories, graduation, and next year. So let's start with student awards, just like it sounds. So all kinds of awards are given out to students as the end of the year rolls around. Uh, and you really, here you start looking at some of the specialized areas like sports and music and arts, ROTC if you're in high school. You'll find citizenship awards a lot of times at all kinds of different levels, as well as academic awards. There's a lot of academic awards uh, that are typically handed out. Um, traditionally, these might be uh, plaques. Uh, they might even be small trophies. Uh, there may be a variety of different types of unique award substrates, some things maybe you haven't even thought about. Uh, a lot of these are done through the school system, but most school systems have very little money. So therefore, 